In this episode, we're looking at communication. We will focus on communication. You need to learn communication techniques because it will help you to give written information that is clearly understood and has the effect on the reader that you want it to have. So objectives here, you'll be able to write paragraphs in which topic sentences supporting details and the concluding sentences are easily identified. Write paragraphs that have linking sentences. Okay. Engage. One, review the following facts about a paragraph. Now, at the very base of our writing system, we have words. These words are grouped together to make sentences and sentences are grouped together to make paragraphs. So let's learn a little bit more about paragraphs. A paragraph is a group of related sentences about a main idea. The paragraph consists of a topic sentence, supporting sentences and a concluding sentence. So the topic sentence kind of give you what they paragraph is about not an overall idea the supporting details now are in the supporting sentences and would give you more information about that idea and then the concluding sentence you know kind of wraps up what that idea is about and then can help you to transition to another paragraph okay a sentence must have a subject and a verb okay it must express a complete thought the subject, the who or what the sentence is about, and the verb, the action that is being described. So you have the subject and the predicate. The topic sentence tells what the paragraph is about. The sentences in a paragraph must link to each other. They must relate or connect. When the writer wants to express a new idea, he or she should start a new paragraph. Sometimes the topic sentence is not stated. Based on what is stated in the other sentences, you can determine what the main idea is. The order of sentences in a paragraph is important for achieving a clear understanding of the paragraph. The topic sentence may be stated at the start of the paragraph or at the end of the paragraph. Explore. Examine the group of sentences below. What do you think the topic sentence is and why? Fruits and vegetables contain valuable nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. They are known as fiber foods. They contain a substance that keeps your arteries clear and clean. Fiber also helps in easy and comfortable bowel movements. That is why more and more people are becoming vegetarians. They avoid eating meats and choose more legumes such as peas, beans, lentils, nuts and almonds. Meat contains animal fats which raise blood cholesterol. This prevents your blood from circulating freely. As a result, you suffer from heart disease. Protect your health by eating more fruits and vegetables. So examine the sentences below. Which do you think is a topic sentence and why? Explain. The first sentence is a topic sentence because it tells you what the paragraph is about. It contains the main idea of the paragraph. Sentences 2 to 8 are supporting sentences. They give details to support the idea that fruits and vegetables contain valuable nutrients. The final sentence gives a conclusion. It restates the main idea in a different way, reminding the reader that the paragraph aims to tell how valuable fruits and vegetables are. The topic sentence is not always at the beginning of the paragraph. Sometimes it is at the end. Read the paragraph below. The lightning flashed like 
a thousand lights. The thunder roared like a heavy beast, and the rain poured like bullets upon the rooftop. The wind drove like nails against our windows. Outside, I heard the trees creaking, and I saw their branches bending to the earth. Suddenly, there was a deafening crash. I leaped to see what it is. My aki tree had fallen upon the roof of our house. What a terrible crash it had been. All the other sentences give details about the crash of the tree. Okay, so this is where we have the topic sentence. Instead of being at the beginning, we have it at the end of the paragraph. A paragraph may be written without a topic sentence. The topic sentence is implied. Most descriptive and narrative paragraphs are written without a topic sentence. Again, most descriptive and narrative paragraphs are written without a topic sentence. In such paragraphs, the supporting details are very strong and they provide the ideas the writers wish to express. In the paragraph below, the topic sentence is not stated. So the topic sentence, not stated. Walking along the banks of the river, we saw a blue and white fishing boat named Seawolf. Two of the three men on the boat were barebacked. The sun was hot and the salt scorched their naked backs. Is this a good spot? We asked. One of the men shook his head from side to side and said, Nah, nah, go lower down, pointing to a spot a little way off. Which of the following could be a topic sentence for the paragraph above? 1. The men on the boat were not welcoming. 2. We wanted a good place to fish. 3. The hottest day of the year. 4. Three strange men were on a boat. And of course, based on the details, we would want this one that says we wanted a good place to catch fish. The best topic sentence would be, we wanted a good place to catch fish. It is important that the sentences in a paragraph link or connect to each other. To achieve this, you have to pay attention to how you sequence the sentences. Elaborate. How could the sentences below be organized to form a paragraph? Each sentence must link to one that comes before it. 1. We spent the day rounding up eight heads of cattle. 2. Next morning, I couldn't put my feet down for all the hurting. My father was busy doing things every day. On Sunday morning, both of us left home by 5 o'clock. Locomotive that took workers came to the field. We didn't reach home before 11 o'clock that night. The correct sequence would be 3. My father was busy doing things every day. 4. On Sunday mornings, both of us left home by 5 o'clock. Locomotive that took workers to the cane fields. 1. We spent the day rounding up eight heads of cattle. Five, we didn't reach home until 11 o'clock that night. And then two, next morning, I couldn't put my feet down for all the hurting. All right. Now write out the paragraph with the sentences correctly sequenced. So this is an activity. So you can write these in the correct order. Finally, evaluate. Use the following topic sentences to construct paragraphs. You may start or end your paragraph with them. 1. My mother was pleased with my school report. I enjoy language arts classes because my teacher makes them exciting. 3. By the end of the 20th century, most Caribbean countries had gained independence. The more you read, the better your writing skills. Please remember to use these to make your own sentences. In the end here it says, the more you read, the better your writing skills. 
So let's go over what we have done for this episode. We looked at communication and we focused primarily on what? Paragraphs. Identifying that a paragraph has what? Sentences. These sentences must be organized or sequenced in a way that makes sense. There must be a topic sentence. There must be sentences that give the topic sentence support and a concluding sentence. All right, guys, take care. Remember to complete the activities as stated. Pause the video if needs be. Then when you're done, turn in your answers to your teachers. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.